Alright, welcome back guys. Uh, this is video, uh, I guess two and a half, let's say. We're just going to uh, quickly secure our SSH server here. So we're going to just log into our server remotely. So you, we downloaded PuTTY in the last video, so open it. If you saved your settings like I did, just go hit whatever you named it, and then go load, and then open. Okay, so now I got my uh, putty window here, so you want to log in as your username and give it your password. And I'm just going to open this up a little bit. Okay, as you can see here, it also tells us the last login too. So that's pretty neat there if you're ever uh, wanting to see who's been logged in. If you have users on and you guys both log in with the same it'll show what like that user was logged in last <coughs> but whatever besides the point so our SSH folder uh, that we installed earlier gets put into the ETC file now to change directories and all that it's uh, pretty easy you just simply type in CD for change directory and then you want to go root just like windows think of windows so when you want to search for something in your you know your uh, windows explorer you know you go like uh, backslash or forward slash forward slash c or server and same thing so you're just naming the path to the folder so in this case there's no mouse there's no desktop so you gotta actually tell it to go there so you're going to the root and then etc and then you can uh, space to hit the next variable and if you're unsure just hit enter and you'll see now that it's paul at test proxy forward slash etc that means I'm in that directory so if you want to see what's inside that directory you can just go ls hit enter and that will list all the uh, folders and files you have in the ETC folder. Okay, so we're looking for SSH right there. Okay, so we can go change directory, SSH. You don't need to put the forward slash because you're not in root, you're already in the ETC folder. So just hit enter, and as you can see, it's changed. So ls to list. And now you'll notice the files we have in our SSH folder. Okay? So we want to configure the SSHD underscore config. So to do that, you want to type in sudo. And then nano is just a text editor. Or you can go vi. I, I like nano. So sudo nano and then SSHD underscore config oh wait you know what guys sorry first we're going to copy our config file just in case we ever make a mistake so just go copy sshd name the file you want to copy and then give it a name you want to give it Okay, so hit enter. Oh, forgot to put sudo. So sudo. Yes. Alright, so now when we list, you will see our new backup file here. Alright, so now let's go into sudo nano sshd underscore config. Alright, so this is uh, your file, and what I like about PuTTY is I can just make this bigger, there's not too many lines in this file. So what we want to configure is, first of all, the port, okay? If you see here, it's port 22. That's a pretty standard port, alright? So anybody with a port scanner can just scan for this port alright and if your passwords are weak 
then they can easily crack in to your uh, server here. So we can just we're just gonna rename this. So what you wanna do is just use your arrow keys, go to the line you wanna erase and just like you know backspace and just change it to something to so five six nine nine. Okay, and then the next thing you wanna look for is uh permit root login. You want to change this to no. So what that's going to do is uh, not allow root access to the log. Like you can't log in. You can use sudo, but you can't log in as root because, like, once you're logged in as root, like, you know, the world's at your fingertips. Let's say. So that's uh, pretty much it for this config file. So what you want to do now is you want to save it. So it's Control and O to save, and then you see down at the bottom here, you uh, just hit enter to, con to confirm it. Okay, so now it's saved, and then you hit Control X to exit. We can clear this. All right, and um, if you guys want to get back to your main uh, directory, just go to change directory. That's it. it brings you right back. So what we're going to do is uh, restart SSH, okay, so now that's good, everything's good to go, um, okay that's it for this video. Uh, the next video we are going to be getting into squid, so now that we're all set up, um, actually you know what, we're going to uh, install webmin the next video, we're not going to use it too much but I'm going to show you that there is something out there that you can configure this through a web base. Okay? Talk to you guys later.